Some that know you have suggested your most dangerous stunt may be when you did the backflip from rooftop to rooftop in yeah. Los Angeles. Explain how nervous you were and how close a call that was. The roof to roof jump in Los Angeles was actually something I wasn't worried about, but when I saw the roof, the ramps were, were tilted up on about a 15 degree angle, which means they're steeper, which I was like, am I gonna go further or shorter? I didn't, didn't really know, I never really practiced that. The run in was really short. Um, so it's, it's one of those things where you, you check to make sure your gas is turned on, you check, you know, make sure all the, the bike is running perfect, make sure you have gas in the tank. I mean, just all the stupid little things that you never think about. And you weren't even well rested the night before. <laughs> no, 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 not like at all. Like slept in your car or something like that. It, it did turn out to be that. I mean, I wasn't nervous about the stunt at all until we got to the top and we dropped a bike off the top. And I was like, wow, you know, that's a, that's a hundred feet. If anything goes wrong, I'm, I'm done. And we haven't really, you know, tested the landing. If I were to land a little too far off the back and we call it whiskey throttle where you, you kind of grab a handful of gas and wasn't able to get to the brake. You go straight off the building. I had um, basically a bunch of my friends were doing Red Rover on the other side to try to pull me off the bike if I were to go too far and, you know, ended up doing a backflip. Came up just literally six feet from death, basically. And uh, that, was, that was a little more nerve wracking in the air than I had ever anticipated. And the double backflip. Talk about the first time you did it in the woods in Spokane, <laughs> Washington. For sure. It was with Andy Bell and we built a, built a jump for him to do a, um, a backflip bar spin because he kept calling me out on how, how lame that trick was. Okay. And um, after we built the jump, I said, man, I bet you could double backflip this jump. And you never want to say that in front of the Nitro Circus crew because that was it. All right, you're up, double backflip. And I'd always given those guys such a hard time about backflipping because that was kind of a big deal at the time. And, um, you know, everyone kept bailing out and bailing out. And I started the double flip and I kept bailing out. And they were just loved it. Just heckled me into the ground until I finally landed that trick. And it, it felt good because it was... You know, it was a long time in the making, and I tried it in the foam pit for years, but, you know, to actually, you know, pull it off, and that was good. And I, I said I'd never do it again. And then X Games came around, and I was like, you know what? It needs to be done in competition. And then Nitro Circus came around, and I said, ah, well, now other people are doing it. Let's do it. Let's do it side by side. Wait, I mean, but the X Games, I mean, that was particularly notable. The crowd went crazy. Take me through the decision from actually just deciding to do it in the X Games all the way up through actually executing it. X Games was kind of a, it was a, a turning point, if you will, in my career. I mean, it was, we had a, from racing, you know, everything was good and then start crashing out, start having a lot of injuries. I was just starting to get into rally. Um, so I was actually leading the, the rally at that point at X Games and the, the final was the next day. And all my team was sitting there and they're like, look, you can't get hurt, you can't get hurt. This is so big. I'd never won a rally in my entire life and I'm sitting here with Colin McRae, you know, within a half a second of, you know, who I looked up to as an idol, um, you know, and I had a freestyle, which is my best, best sport still to come. Like this was gonna be my biggest X Games and my first event really to, to be complete was to try that double backflip. And I was going back and forth. I'm like, should I, shouldn't I? I was nervous. And we finally rock, paper, scissors, literally with, uh, with Hubert Roland, one of my, one of my mechanics. And uh, was it the day of the X Games you did? Or? It was actually after I was sitting third place after the first rounds. I said, you know what? This needs to be done. It's like Hubert and Hubert won. He's like, you're going to the top. I said, all right. What, what's that excitement like doing it for being the first one to do it? I think more than anything, if, if you look at it, you know, especially, you know, any kind of freestyle, it's, it's kind of like an artist. They see a painting and they see something that, that someone else might not have picked up on and they, they try to, you know, portray that to, to the audience. And, you know, for me, it's, it's inventing a trick. It's finding out everything that can go wrong. You know, you go over it in your head and if you can visualize it and you can see exactly what's going to happen and then you do it. And if you can eventually figure out, you know, how to make that vision reality um, and the, the months and sometimes years that go into it, it, it's a really great feeling. And usually you're doing it in front of two or three you know, of your friends. And uh, you know, just that everyone knows how much time goes into it. And then you, you show it in front of the crowd. And they're like, wow, that just happened all of a sudden and that was great. And you know, everyone gets excited, but it's just, it's more, more than that excitement. It's that inward feeling of accomplishment. And that's, that's what's so great about it.